Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a hologram effect using DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started. So I've got this clip of a heart that I'm going to turn into a hologram. First, we need to remove the black background. To do that, head over to the Effects panel, scroll down to OpenFX, and search for 3D Keyer. Drag that onto your clip. Next, make sure OpenFX Overlay is enabled, then click directly on the black area of the clip to key it out. Now drag the playhead forward to find the perfect frame where you want the hologram to appear. Once you've got the right spot, I'm going to scale it down using the zoom control and adjust the position so it fits right into the palm of the hand. Then I'll lower the opacity to around 50% to give it that semi-transparent holographic look. Now I'm going to adjust the clip to control exactly when the hologram effect appears. I'll move the start point to where I want the effect to begin and then delete the remaining part that I don't need. Next, I'll duplicate the clip by holding down Alt and dragging it up to create a copy. For this duplicate, I'll slightly increase the zoom and reduce the opacity to give it a layered hologram look. Once that's done, I'll select all the clips, then right click and choose New Fusion Clip to combine them. Now let's head over to the Fusion page. First, I'll quickly adjust these nodes to create some space for adding new ones. Now I'm going to drag the playhead forward to the point where the effect begins. With the Media in 2 node selected, I'll press Ctrl plus Space to open the search tool, type Scan Lines, and click Add to apply the effect. Next, with the Scan Lines node selected, I'll go to the Inspector panel and increase the value of line frequency all the way up to 20. Then I'll slightly decrease the line sharpness to soften the effect. After that, I'll head over to the Color section, click on it, choose this blue shade, and hit OK to apply it. Next, I'll copy the Scan Lines node by pressing Ctrl plus C, then select Media in 3 and press Ctrl plus V to paste it. Next, I want to add some glow to the effect. To do that, I'll click on the Scan Lines 1 node, open the Search tool with Ctrl plus Space, type Shadow, and click Add. Now with the Shadow node selected, I'll go to the Inspector panel and change the shadow color to the same blue we used earlier. Then I'll go to the Softness parameter and increase it all the way to the maximum. Next, I'll copy this shadow node and paste it onto the duplicate scan line node below. Next, I'll go to the Merge 3 node and in the Inspector panel bring the Alpha Gain value all the way down to zero. Then I'll head over to the Merge 2 node and slightly decrease its Alpha Gain to blend everything nicely. And that's it. If you found this helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more, and don't forget to tap the bell.